Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Mataure. Welcome back to my channel. This is my husband, Manja. Hi everyone. We haven't done a sit down video in a minute. It's been a while. We haven't done one on these sofas actually. Mm. Hey, upgrade. You know, for those who haven't seen me now, sofas. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you haven't, if you've watched more than three videos, I, c I don't know what, to, like, I can't help you. Work on your commitment issues. Sort out your commitment issues and subscribe to my channel. It starts here. It starts here. Do right it now. Down below. I've got a good video for you guys today. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I think it was like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I asked for some couples assumptions and you guys sent them through. <laughs> so he hasn't seen I any of them. He hasn't seen any of them. So we're gonna go through those and yeah, answer some questions oh, yeah, and address some assumptions. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Shout out to all those who danced to my theme song. <laughs> okay, here's the real theme song. Okay, so first one, first assumption. First assumption. Shoot, let's go, let's go. You guys want to move out of the country. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, let me try and start on this one. Uh, yes, there was a time that we, actually from when we got married, right, taking us back. So we got married and we decided that, okay, we wanted to live somewhere, anyway, but Arare, anyway, other than Arare. So, Bulawayo, Mutare, Gweru, Zambia, Kenya, we thought about a lot of places. So, I think as time went by, we kind of just... Hey, speak for yourself, Chief. Okay, Chief speak for yourself. Out. Okay, anyway, so, <laughs> roll forward to this year. Um, I'd actually applied to um, go do my master's in the Netherlands. I got accepted. What I didn't get was a scholarship. So, we then just decided, okay, recalibrate, stay in Zim, and uh, let's tough it out. So, answer the question. What is the question? Do you guys only move outside the country? Not anymore. For me, I... Not for anymore. you, I do. No. Yeah. I do still. Okay, so, I... We've talked about it. We've talked about it and we've prayed about it and God has said no to us leaving. <laughs> I'm still coming to terms with it. Personally. You're not happy. You're not happy. Personally, I'm mm. I, I feel I feel a type of way about it. Jones is happy to say he's like, Yes, yeah, no, 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 yeah, I'm yes, God, my teeth God you well, we're here. I'm just like if you insist. Because hey, yeah, but this is not a Zim rant. This is not a Zim rant, but Zim is Zim has been a struggle. But anyway, yeah, so to be honest, that assumption is kind of right because I do want to move out mm, the country. Mm. We're not going to because Chongs doesn't want to. And it's not, I don't think it's the right move for us. Um, am I bitter about it? Yes. But am also, I there's get a lot that it? we're trying yes. to do here. Yeah, that's why I we're mean, like really trying to yeah. sink our teeth in. To be honest, it was for me when I didn't get accepted or when I didn't get the scholarship, it was kind of like, okay. Because I prayed about it. I said, you know, God. For me, it's a win-win. If I stay, it means there's something that you want me to be doing in Zim. Mm -hmm. If I go, mm -hmm. um, also the course I wanted to be doing there was going to be quite exciting. It was like public policy and yeah. human development and stuff. Mm -hmm. I felt that I was going to go do my course and maybe we spend a few years out and come back or whatever. So it was, it was a win-win. I think that's how I saw it. Mm -hmm. So it was like, okay, God, if yeah. I am staying or if I'm meant to stay, then we're going to plant ourselves here and sink yeah. our roots here and make it work if we go cool it's also yeah. so yeah i think actually one of the things that we prayed we said god if this is you opening this door accept i hope he gets the scholarship if this is you saying no we must be in zim shut that door mm. and he shut mm. that door quick <laughs> he shut that there door was quick. no option and actually this is the yeah anyway. yeah anyway long story short um i want to move out of the country even though we won't chunks is doesn't so yeah anyway on to the next one you guys have different interests. I yeah. think so. Yeah. I think we do. We do. We have different interests. I think because our personalities are different. We're similar in a lot of ways, but we're also very different. Like we're loud. Our version. Yeah, we're both loud, <laughs> but our both of our versions of fun are different. Okay, like here's the simplest thing in terms of interests: movies. Yeah. So We've got completely different complete, taste yeah. in movies. Like the only. 
place we come together is Marvel. It's Marvel. And all comic <laughs> Marvel, sci-fi things. Yeah. Yes. Everything else, like, yeah. no, even the books we read, he loves non-fiction, I love fiction, mm. he's sporty, I'm not. We, Yeah, I think we have a lot of different Documentary, interests. I love documentaries. Yeah, you love documentaries. I love to read, like, um, I, I'm a big reader on books. I like, like, crafts and things, like, making things. So we have completely different interests, but I love it. Because what's great is we respect each other's interests and, and we, we take love interest. Each other. Yeah, we do, we do. <laughs> and we take yeah. interest in each other's interests. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, that's, like, that's, that's he loves do. talking about politics. Politics, governance, public policy, and we'll just, leadership. Uh, current affairs. Current to affairs. him, it's like, so to me, I'm like, mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, man, that's crazy. But because it's important to him, I, I try. No, I you do, do. not Shane, Shane, you I do me. try. This and is why I need to, yeah. Just, yeah, just he must also, just start his own channel, yeah, right? And talk great. about all those things yeah. because I, it's a struggle for me. But because it's important to him, it's important to me. What's the other thing that I love? There's something else that I really love doing that I'm always telling you about. Like what? It was that Tetris game on my phone. I was so invested. Mm. I was so invested. But anyway, yeah, we have different, different interests. interests. Yeah. You guys are bougie. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, you know, let me let me let me try and respond to this one. Bougie. Okay. I think. Okay, look. Uh, bougie is relative, though, right? Yeah, bougie. Now, in what sense? Okay, accent. Yeah, we talk with. Yeah, yeah. Hum, hum, we got hum, a bit hum. of a hong hong. Hum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a bit of a like my lady panda. Hum, hum, <laughs> yeah, we, have, we do have a no, bit of okay. a twang. So, <laughs> I think the bougie thing comes from it's like okay, this sala accent and. What I, I and honestly you know, think it's the accent. That's that's what it is. It's the accent, and and that's about it. But I think everything else, I don't. But also bougie is relative, you know what I'm and saying? And bougie is very broad, I think. Like for but some people, someone having a car is bougie. And yeah, someone yeah, having yeah, a jet yeah. is bougie. Yeah. So like, it's it's yeah. relative. But I don't know, I think, well actually, well, you, to be honest, it's just the accent. We're it is very just down to the earth accent. people. I think we're, we're, we're very, normal. very normal yeah. people doing yeah. normal things. So I don't know, I wouldn't say mm. I'm bougie. To some, perhaps. Mm. I think also maybe, actually no. So, we live in a rural area, so to a lot of the people here, we are bougie. Mm. But if we were to go to Alade, we're very basic. I think no more. <laughs> we're very basic. Is anything, we're very... Well, yeah. A little on the other end of the spectrum. So, yeah, no, I wouldn't say we're bougie. Relative, yeah, it's, it's very Yeah, it's subjective. relative, yeah. yeah. Next one, yeah. you are a spoiled couple. Mommy and daddy spoil you. Oh, wow. This is similar <laughs> to the bougie thing, though. It is. So, um, are, are we a spoiled couple? No, you know, I think... I think Okay, I, I want to try and put it like this. I think our parents, both of them, worked very, very hard to get us to where we are. Okay. I, I don't think we are, and I don't think we've accomplished everything that, that, that maybe they would have expected. I think, you know, given situations and how things are and all that. But I think it's not spoiled. I think, the, the, yes, I'll, I'll believe, yes, there are certain things that we were given that maybe other kids didn't have or didn't get. Um... I don't know, call it maybe the private school education, but a lot of people did that. A lot of people didn't. Mm. So it, 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 it just varies, I think. It, it, yeah. it's, it's a tough one. Um, also, what is spoiled? Again, spoiled yeah. is also relative. But like, okay, the, the, the thing was that it said we're a spoiled couple. So I don't think so. Like, even like right now, that mom and dad spoil us? Yeah, no. No way. I don't think so. You know what? I think also this maybe comes from the fact that they gave us this house. So it seems that, like it's just a, a shower yeah. of, but that's, that's really But nice. you know, like, okay, th then it goes back to what I was saying just now, that, you know, the amount of work that was put in way back when. Yeah, because it's like this, this house was bought in 1987. And it's been in the family since yeah, then. Yeah, so it, it's one of those things where, and even in your family, if, mm. if, if like the flats or, or, you know, the properties or whatever that your mm. parents bought, mm. um, that was an investment made way back when. And mm. I know there's certain things that people have done and then passed them on to us. Some people may be, didn't have such opportunities or they took them and squandered them. Mm. Even there were some pro things that my parents maybe owned or whatever that we don't have anymore, but mm. it's all something that was maybe handed down over the time and whatever, you know, and yeah. was managed. No, I wouldn't say I, I it was spoiled. Know, I, don't know, I just feel like people have this perception that we are rich <laughs> and I don't know where, <laughs> where, 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 where it comes from. But yeah, no, I, I, th I think in, Zim in Zimbabwe, people have all, people have all done sort of this kind of thing, you know, up and down. So yeah. at some time, some moments you've been 
up and things have been good w- whether you're in a rural community or not i mean yeah. we've heard stories of people out here who've done or who at, at one point in life had a lot really well. you know whether it was farming or whatever they were doing out here mm. and then all of a sudden they're not doing so well so mm. it, whether you're living in town or in the rural areas yeah. everyone's had the up, up, ups yeah. and downs some people mm. have were doing really well then they left the country and went off and and are doing poorly yeah. but they're living abroad you know it, it, yeah. it, it's it's difficult it varies everyone's, we're waiting for our up <laughs> Hanging in there, waiting to be taken up. But anyway, no, I, I would not say we're a spoiled couple. Okay. No, mom and dad support us and love us. By support, I mean just um, emotionally and just support wise, even just with just MJ as grandparents, words of wisdom. They support us a lot. Yeah. But if it's like spoiled in a financial sense, definitely not. Yeah. Everybody's struggling, to be honest, guys. But yeah. So, yeah. What's the next one? The next one. Oops, here we are. Ha, ha, ha. Yo, it's hard because you guys have been real since day one. You think that's nice. Mm. That's nice. Okay. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, 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 that's a good one. Because I think we, and I always say this to you, that like we kind of, it feels like we're still dating. <laughs> yeah. Even though we're you know, married. To be honest, like, I thought something would change. You know, like you know, we're married. You're, you're married. It's like, you okay, know. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> we had yeah, this conversation this week. I was saying, like, when I imagined, like, us as a married couple, I imagined, like, there has to be some seriousness. This you know, mature, you, you know, like, <laughs> adults. You know how when you're a kid, you'd look at, like, 30 somethings and they were, like, grown folk. You know what I'm saying? Like, more mature, more. But, like, we've been it's the same. Just, Since we, know, those in yours were not dating, we were like, this. same clowns. I don't know. I just, I don't know what I expected, whether there was going to be, like, some switch where it's like, well, no. Mr. and Mrs. married and grown. And oh, and now whatever. there's a child. And now there's a child. Baba na my matawe. You know, just that. No. Oof. But yeah, no. <laughs> Nothing but but anyway. And I think that's such a good thing. Yeah, I think a, it's a good a, thing. It's a and, good and I'm thing. glad a that you guys feel that we're real with you just, and we've been real with you from day one. So yeah, yeah, that's good. Next one. Not a question, but Mark Tangok Fanana, that's how you know Shiruku Fire. <laughs> okay, so funny story. Uh, when. When we were still dating, and uh, we went to one of our cell groups, uh, church cell groups, um, I remember someone said to us, no, actually, no, we announced to people, we're like, okay, you know, um, we're, we're engaged now. Yeah. Like that. And it's, yeah, we're just engaged. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone said, oh, you guys are engaged. Wait, I thought you guys were siblings. <laughs> and the worst thing is, like, so this is on WhatsApp, right? And at the other cell members were like, yeah, sure. I thought I was the oh, only yeah, one. Yes, yes, we announced it was the our engagement. So, like, everyone thinks we look alike like even we've come here and we've traced our family lineage and yes our families were neighbors at some point yeah. and our families knew each other Oops, yeah sorry. okay, okay. <laughs> take my ass i can't see are you okay thanks take my are you okay on. can we carry on <laughs> wow are you okay i'm like a parrot oh uh, what do parrots yeah. have one eye a pirate. A pirate. What do you think oh, I said? Oh, a pirate. Oh, not a. Oh, no. You said pirate. Though. <laughs> pirate. Anyway, you said anyway. pirate. So, what, what anyway, was it? sorry. Oh, that people lived together. Yes, and, that. Uh, yeah, yeah our, our families knew each other like from before, but we are actually not siblings. Like so someone, many people. Someone, someone said, "Oh no, it means someone stepped at out. the clinic." <laughs> at the clinic, and they're like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. "You too." Somebody but, up there. But what is it like? I just feel like we're both I light. Think we don't look alike. We're just both light. Yeah. I think it's just laziness. <laughs> Do we okay, you guys let us know in the comment section below. Do we like yeah, bring your face here? Mm. <laughs> Do we look like I don't think so. No. But you know, they also say like you fall in love with someone with a similar like bone structure and really? facial whatever, like under the face. Mm. They say you fall in love with someone with similar features to your own. That's so they say. Mm. So they say because you find that attractive mm. because it's familiar. I don't know. Anyway, let us know in the comment section down below. Do we look alike? Okay. How is the conversation on baby number two going? Hey. Yeah. How's the conversation going? Well, well we've been discussing. Yeah, we've so, okay. So we've had the conversation. Yes, we are on board. Yes, we want baby number two. Yes, I'm all for contraception, but it's just not happening yet. Mm. Waiting for God's timing. It sucks. I think anyone who's gone through the spell of like trying to conceive is actually extremely stressful. Mm. It is extremely stressful. And I'm, I'm not likening this to those who've been through infertility treatments and all that because that is stressful. Yeah. But I'm just saying, anybody who's like trying to conceive, like getting pregnant is not as easy as it looks. It, mm-hmm. it seems, and 
it happened like the first time around even trying to get pregnant with mj it just was not easy <laughs> it seems like such a simple thing where it's like do the baby dance instantly you get pregnant no it just doesn't happen it didn't happen that way for us the first time around doesn't seem to be happening that way for us second time around but anyway we're hopeful mm. Anytime. Hopeful, y'all know. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my baby fever is like on mm. hundred. Like I've wanted another baby since MJ turned one. He's almost two now, so you can imagine. But yeah, we're just hoping for the right time. And I'm doing time. my exercise to make sure that I'm <laughs> doing my best. Oh I'm my! Not, oh my! <laughs> make sure that I can <laughs> giving it the best you've got. I give it wow! The best. Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> I don't know, I'm doing the best I can. I like, so this is I'm a bit of TMI, but trying to conceive is not romantic. It is not as romantic as you I think it is. I can't do it. Come, <laughs> I don't have the poor. I don't what? have the poor. What, what is the poor? Poor. What's the... I don't have the poor. What's poor? Power. Oh, the power. Oh, dear. But anyway... It's nature. Well, let's just say, yes, it, it, is, it, it is not as romantic as it sounds. It's actually very mechanical. <laughs> but anyway, that's just yeah. some TMI for you there. But anyway, yeah, yeah so that's the answer. But you guys will be the too. first to know jokes. No, you oh. know what? You know what? I actually cannot wait to be churning out pregnancy content. I love pregnancy. I don't like being pregnant, but I love everything about pregnancy. I find it so, so, so But you think we let people know maybe... Uh, after some time we'll see but maybe like, like eight uh, months you know we're like i can't keep it i'm just like ah, i'm pregnant you know <laughs> I, I struggle i struggle to keep it under wraps yeah. but yeah like i can't wait like i'd love to do like pregnancy content mm. you know my belly what 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 ah so anyway cool. hopefully sometime soon we've come to the end of the assumptions that was great yeah. nice short and short, sweet. short and sweet yeah short and sweet but actually if there's any more let's uh, uh, just follow me on instagram yeah. to make your lives so much easier yeah. those of you who are on facebook nyari dusty <laughs> please don't complain i've told you everything's usually on instagram but anyway um follow me on instagram if you want to be able to send me more assumptions send me a dm just keep an eye out on my stories i always put random stuff like this out True. Anyway, but let's see what you guys think. You know. Yeah, let um, us know in the comment section below. Were you guys surprised by some of the assumptions? Let me know. So you guys saw yesterday that I started a GoFundMe. I have, I have, I have. I'm trying to raise some capital to get my takeaway going. So yes, all the details, I'll link them down below. So if you do find it in your heart to bless us, support us, I'd really appreciate it. If not, it's okay. It's okay. No pressure. no pressure. No pressure. No hard feelings. It's all love around here. But anyway, I'd really appreciate your support. So I'll leave it all in the description box below. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.